Hello and welcome to Betfred Sports here from the Equestrian Network Studio. I'm Kate Caffer, I'm joined by Betfred's Kate Jones. How are you this evening? So much, Jim, thank you very much. Perfect. So, first of all, the World Cup is creeping up quite soon. I mean, it starts on Sunday even. Yeah. Who's the favourite to win that at the moment? Well, um, the South American giants, Brazil and uh, Argentina, they're the main two. Um, Brazil are four to one. Betfred have the best price guaranteed for the outright winners. Um, and we're going to keep that going. So Brazil are four to one to win it. Um, Argentina, they're eleven to two. Their second favourites. Um, then we've got France. They're probably the best of the European teams, um, although they'll be without Pogba um, and Kante. Um, and then we've got England and Spain, both nine to one. So um, I suppose we're the well, equal fourth favourite, and that that says it all because. The good, you get a lot of patriotic punting at this time um, and a lot of people are going to be back in England at the last minute um, but I just don't see it I just think that it's going to be Brazil or Argentina I mean the boss Fred Dome disagrees he thinks it's going to be England all the way um, and back in 1966 he bet on England and £200 and in them days that was like five times the average wage it was a huge amount of money and that two hundred pounds that England won, uh, and he picked up one thousand six hundred, so it must have been eight to one. Um, and that one thousand six hundred, he used to buy half his first shot. Wow. And that's how the empire began. So wow. the World Cup really resonates with him, <laughs> and he's been telling me about how it always brings back these memories of uh, how it all started off. And it was on a, an England bet. Wow, pretty amazing. And I suppose England play a run actually on Monday, don't they? So what are we looking for for that? Yeah, well, it won't surprise anybody to know that England are odds on to win that. Um, one to three, Bet Fred have. He ran 10 to one, a draw seven to two. Um, Harry Kane, um, he figures highly in the top goal scorer of the whole competition. We'll come to that later on now. Uh, but Harry Kane is 11 to four to score the first uh, goal with Bet Fred. Callum Wilson, he's four to one. Um, Marcus Rashford, now he's nine to two. He's back in form now. Um, and right, that's the same price as Raheem Sterling. A lot of questions whether Sterling should actually start because he's not doing as well as he would hope at Chelsea. Um, and his form at City tailed off towards the end. But Betfred have him at nine to two to prove all those critics wrong. Um, and he scores the first goal. Um, Phil Foden. I noticed in the papers this morning he's, he's talking about how it's his uh, World Cup debut and he's really got to make the most of this opportunity and start scoring in big tournaments, big goals. He's saying, "Well, he's six to one to just go and do that and score the first goal um, for England's campaign against Iran on Monday." And Saka, he's the same price, six to one. Wow, you mentioned some great players then, but who have we got as top goal scorers for the World Cup? Um, well. We've got Kane as the favourite, Betfred Evans his favourite, seven to one. Um, uh, then we've got Mbappe, he's eight to one. Um, his French teammate, Benzema, he's ten to one. Um, and then uh, Betfred have Messi, uh, twelve to one. Um, and that person now who was really, really split opinion amongst the United fans, Ronaldo, <laughs> he's sixteen to one. You can't keep him out of the news. Um, he's 16 to 1 to go and be the top scorer in the whole competition. Um, player of the tournament, um, Ronaldo's also in the running for that. He's 20 to 1, uh, but a lot will depend on whether that ageing uh, Portuguese team can um, come to the party. Um, Messi is 10 to 1 to um, be the player of the tournament. Uh, same price as Mbappe. Uh, Neymar is 11 to 1. Benzema is 12 to 1. Um, and Harry Kane, um, he's 14 to 1 to be the player of the tournament, which is the same price as De Bruyne, actually, for Belgium. Um, now, we've got um, a lot of doubles, and many people think it's going to be Argentina who's going to win it. Now, they are second favourites, um, and they're coming in quite sharply, so there's a lot of money going on in Argentina. Um, and that's basically because of the climate in uh, Qatar might suit the um, South American teams better than the European um, giants such as France, England, Spain, Germany. Um, anyway, um, we've got Argentina to win the tournament and Messi to be the top scorer. Well, that's 28 to 1 at Betfred. 
So that's the sort of uh, bet that many people are fancying because it is a fair chance that Messi will get that reward mm -hmm. to be player of the tournament if Argentina um, show their potential um, and go on and, and do do well in it and at least get to say the semi-finals. Well, I'm going to back Fred Dunham because I pulled England in the quest sweepstakes, so I hope Fred's, <laughs> Fred's passion is going to drive me through. But I believe you have some big bets as well. Someone has put on £20,000 as well, haven't they? Yeah, they have. This is um, uh, a regular punter at, uh, in Southampton. Um, I've got to say, most people bet £2 or £5 or £10, but we do have these huge bets. Um, and we've got someone in Southampton who's bet £20,000 <laughs> It's our biggest World Cup bet so far wow. um, on Brazil. He got on at nine to two, um, and he, he'll win a fortune if, if um, Brazil go on and win it. We've also got um, a guy in uh, Nottingham, the biggest England bet, that's two thousand um, pounds, and we've got someone in uh, on Brazil, um, and he's from Leicester. He got on with ten thousand pounds for Brazil. So those three teams are proving the most popular. Um, in, in, in Manchester and beyond in, in Britain with Bet Fred. That's Brazil 4 to 1, Argentina 11 to 2, and England at 9 to 1. Pretty exciting stuff. And in our paper, we had some news from Fred Dunn this week. I believe he's bought a horse that's going to be going to charity and he won himself. Tell us about that. Yeah, well, his, his wife and the, the love of his life, Mo, um, who used to be a cleaner in his first shop, um, she, uh, they were married for 60 odd years. Anyway, she died sadly of a uh, brain tumour um, and she died despite the efforts of the people at Christie Hospital. Um, and he's, he's always thought how kind and helpful they were at that world-renowned place. Um, anyway, what he's, he's, he's made various donations over the years, but what's interesting now, he's bought a horse called Play to Get, to get Away, um, which is, um, he's bought it from Ireland. He's gonna run in his colours which uh, I understand are blue and green. Um, and every time this horse wins any money, then he's gonna donate it to Chris Chuttle. Wow. So, um, and he, he's gonna have um, a swanky event at uh, Haydock Park, where a lot of the nurses will be invited for a day out. Um, and it's, he's decided that's a good way of uh, remembering um, his wife, Mo. That's wonderful. I think it's great for someone like Fred to do that kind of thing, you know? They've got a great business, great enterprise that he's built, but to still give back to charity is amazing to see, really. Yeah, well, he, he does um, have um, uh, the NHS in close to his heart. Definitely, that's lovely to see. And um, Rugby World Cup, it's almost finishing. I mean, it's been a whirlwind of an event, hasn't it? But it finishes this weekend. What have you got for us for that? Yeah, well, um, England went out um, last weekend um, to Samoa very disappointed. Um, the repercussions of that are going to be long felt. The players are going to be, remember that all the careers that they didn't actually, um, well, they choked basically at the, the semi-final stage. To be beaten by Samoa, who England had beaten in the group stage by 60 odd points, it was quite extraordinary. Um, Samoa are a, a second rate, um, a certain ranked um, nation in rugby league terms. And they've got to the final to play Australia. We all thought Australia would get there. Mm. Bet Fred have had them odds on all the way through. Um, but it was deemed, or it looked like, it was going to be a fantastic final at Old Trafford on Saturday between England and Australia. But it's not now. It's Samoa and, um, and Australia. So um, that's really, really disappointing. But anyway. Um, so going into the final, we have Australia 1-12. So the clear favourites, Samoa, thirteen to two, um, and it's looking like it'll be Australia's day. Um, if it'll make up for the um, T Twenty last one. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely. And the other news, I'm a celebrity. I mean, I've not been watching it too much myself, but I believe we've got some odds for who might win that overall. Yeah, um, this is it's catapulted into the news big time now because Bet Fred had Matt Hancock. Um, the um, health secretary of uh, COVID times, um, who ended up being sacked. Um, anyway, he started off at 20 to one um, when it was announced he was going into the jungle down under. Uh, well, he's now been backed into seven to one. He's become, believe it or not, um, um, a housewife's favorite. <laughs> um, 
women seem to like his chatty nature, so less of Lee. Wow. Um, and also, he has he keeps being chosen for these um, um, grisly um, kind of tasks that they do down under, um, eating cockroaches and the like, and uh, going underwater and collecting stars. All things that the wife and uh, the children tell me go on. <laughs> but anyway, uh, so Matt Hancock keeps being selected for these um, by his campmates and uh, and the public, and he's now seven to one because people think he's being bullied. Would you believe? And that it's it's um, he needs some sympathy. So he's now seven to one, and he's now four favourites to actually become the king of the jungle. <laughs> um, he's behind Jill Scott. Um, she's Evans, um, Owen Warner, um, he's 9 to 4, Mike Tyndall, he's kept consistently in the running there, 13 to 2, and then we've got Matt Hancock, um, 7 to 1. Boy George, who I thought was going to uh, walk this, um, he's um, drifted out now from 30 to 1 um, a week ago to now 50 to 1, so he must be doing some uh, bad things. But anyway, we won't go there. <laughs> right, so that's that. Some funny ones in there. I mean, obviously, Matt Hancock throws a spanner in the works. No one expects it. I mean, I didn't expect him to do that well. I thought he would have been almost like I said, bullied out straight away. But Jill Scott is someone that I've got my eye on because I love Jill Scott. Obviously, a lioness was amazing somewhere this year. She is a massive inspiration to me and I think many women, so I'm hoping she does quite well, really. Yeah, well, she's got a fair chance, and she um, a lot of tactics going in the jungle. They've got to like keep their noses clean and don't be too argumentative. And she does seem to have the right personality to survive. Um, and she did do very well, like the, all the lionesses did in the Euros, didn't they? So um, she's got that in a locker as well. And uh, I think she's from around this area as well, isn't she? She's she from, is. Took her a million miles away. I actually think I read online that she asked her luxury item to be to find out who the England squad at the World Cup would be, and it was denied because it was an outside source. That was her only thing she asked for, to learn what the England squad would be. And they said, I can't tell you that, sadly. Bit of a shame for her, that, isn't it? Well, it is, yeah. <laughs> so she doesn't even know who's in the England team. No. So she'll come out and she'll find out that, and I'm guessing she'll find out sports personality of the year, because I believe there's two INSs that are up for that, yeah. Lee Williamson and Beth Mead. So she'll have to well, do well, that. Well, I, I know about that sports personality. Beth Mead is the favourite, mm. um, and Beth Fred have... Harry Kane as second favourite, but that's been put back until after the World Cup mm. so that they can include how England men go on in the World Cup. Absolutely. So if they do well, Harry Kane will go in as favourite. If they, if they struggle, then he'll stay as it is. So Beth Mead is the, I think she is, odds on mm. uh, with Beth Fred to actually go on and win that. Crazy. So much going on in football, isn't there, at the minute? Mm. That's all perfect. Thank you so much. If you would like to bet, you can do so in Betfred stores, online, and the Betfred app as well.